Welcome back, viewers. We're here with Dean Motherfucking Domino. Get a madre. You key, isn't she? She the one who invited you here. And oh, I am going to show y'all all the way up into the casino and the we'll ending that you get like for keeping Dean Motherfucking Eat Domino alive. Because apparently no one else has way, figured it out. Don't get up. We'll make so yeah. Sudden motions, no matter how uncomfortable that Currently, I'm just doing a speed run of this. I'll be doing another run through later on. Sounds like you've done some. Go on and just use explosives. And just because I work in entertainment, you've got my attention for Doesn't the mean I'm a moron. What we need to I do is keep I'm part of Mr. Domino here I want friendly I towards that. us. In other words, if you we can't do all of the speech challenges with this guy. Happy. So whatever's going on here, if you're part of all You're this, taking orders from me. Orders this is the first thing that will affect our outcome with him. I'll cooperate. Instead of going barter, oh, good. that then will get you more experience. However, in the end, man, but you I will like end up having to kill Mr. Domino here. Favor. You want to... Ace in the hole, blah, blah, blah. And I forgot to send Mr. Dog back to wherever the fuck Wait. that fountain is. That's something hilarious. Wait, wait, wait. It's dangerous out there. I don't want to go alone. But you've got too many people in your party. I'll meet you back at the fountain. Without Dean Domino, it's going to be a little fun because of all this freaking mist and all that fun stuff. Yo, Dino. And that's what I'm talking about with the stealth. I just to show it, skills, sneak is at a hundred, and I've all I've got almost all of the stealth increasing perks, including including what am I looking for? Including broad daylight, I'll just say it right now. Broad daylight, broad, yeah, there we go, broad daylight, which allows me to stay hidden no matter what, essentially. And yet, enemies who, even with their backs turned to me, can still see me. Ugh, dog, you really need to learn how to finish these fuckers off. Anyways, I'm just gonna run through the freaking cloud field right here, just that way I can go on and grab this... Dino stuff. I do not know all the locations for the these Dean stashes, so don't even bother asking me at the moment. I'll possibly make a new one or another tips and tricks later showing off where they all are. But for now, we'll see you at the next Dean sequence. Cheers. So, what's your story, beautiful? Welcome back, viewers. And yeah, let's go on and let Dean finish talking to that guy uh, while I... Don't talk hope much, that nobody's trying to sneak up behind me. Oh, don't look like it. All right, team, go on and finish your no conversation right, with Christine. I'll just wallflower it over here. But yeah, this but is the second part up. on how to keep Senior Dean Domino from a. Uh, if we. From partner. Uh, Christine, that her name? Nice. From making you kill him when you get into the uh, Vegas casino. Yes, I'm skipping through the Odd audio, out. all that fun stuff. Odd man out. Didn't I am doing of... exactly what I did in my earlier run through of this just to be sure that my glitch to replay through dead money still works. Let's travel together, dude. Let's do it. Just because. I'm gonna go on and take your tux.
Because he looks spiffy without it. Either way. Crouch down. I and off screening to get to Dean Domino second part. Reached level fifty, blah blah blah. Yay. Presta de Sol. Or however Yeah, yeah, see see this is exactly what I'm fucking talking about. I am buffed for sneaking, and yet these fuckers still see me. I mean, I've got silent running, I've got that perk that allows the other guys to blow up the course before I can get... Wait, 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 I'm at max level, it don't matter. Uh, Dean? Okay, you're still doing good. Either way, I've, I've got max sneak, I've got perks that prevent, that should prevent me from being seen in light. I've got silent running, which supposedly makes it so enemies can't hear me sneaking up no matter how fast I'm going. And yet, I'm still being noticed, even with enemies' backs turned. I don't know if this is in the programming or if it's just with me, but it's really annoying at times, especially if I'm trying to make a run through on the hardest difficulty. Nice one. I'm gonna go on and kill these guys. Hope you don't mind. I'm sure they're all dead, jerk! Just trying to make sure your friends don't get up. I was gonna leave you alive, puppy. But no, you had to push your luck, dick. So yeah, pretty much I'm just doing a... Oh, what? Ugh, this... Fuck you. Nice one! Didn't know a freaking pussy-ass 9 mil could break an arm off. Anyways, like I was saying heal up a bit. Like I was saying, I just do my basic run through with Dean right now. I'm just pretty much showing exactly what I do or what I did the last time I tried to. Ah, again with this. Again with this. Ah, Dean, take care of this for me for just a second. I gotta reply to something. Hi! Dick, I was replying to a freaking message. Just for that, you goddamn die. Move it, Dean. I am going to decapitate this motherfucker and make sure he is limbless. Fuck you. Oh boy. The cloud. You know, Dean makes the cloud sound so fucking epically impossible to walk through it. But really, it's a brilliant move to get uh, caught on a goddamn ally. Switching station. That's where you'll need this to bring them This is why I generally hate having allies. They almost always get right in my goddamn way. Dean, you're doing fine, right? Yep, you still got lots of Sure he's dead. I'm gonna go on and run up here real quick just to get through Christine's thing a little bit faster. And of course I'm willing to bet Dean's probably gonna say something. But just so I get through Christine's thing a little bit faster, go on and hit that. There we go. Easy. Enough. That's going the wrong way. This is the right way. 
I usually come up here with Dean anyways because there are a few things that I like to do. Such as coming here. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Actually, the wrong place. However, still looking for experience, you can repair that pipe. Whoop de doo. Continuing onwards. Put my pistol. I'm going to take out this ghost guy and. Sixty. Uh, and I'm willing to bet some of you guys are probably going to say, well, you've got to be sitting still in order to not be seen. But even when I'm sitting still, if an enemy comes into my range, range or comes within range to, of seeing me or something like that, they'll actually see me, no matter fucking what. LOLS. WHAT?! God damn it. That. <laughs> It actually sneak killed him. Nice. And what's annoying about this is it really only happens when I'm recording something. Like er, earlier when I was doing the thing with dog, not that thing. Please don't do fan fiction, all that fun stuff. But when when I was going through dog's mission, these guys hardly ever saw me. In fact. I get multiple sneak attacks on them and be no worse for wear. Let me make sure he's dead. Him with a... You know, Dean. God damn it. <sighs> Dean, you really need to start learning how to finish these guys off. I mean, at least with Dog and Christine. They usually get a decapitation or something on them. And for this mission, or for this uh, DLC, I highly suggest having the, uh, what is it? I highly suggest having the Bloody Nest perk, because it will make things a lot easier. Fuck. L. Dean. Oh, you finally killed him. Con fucking congratulations! Let's see what you've won. You've won the right to live for a few more goddamn minutes. What? 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 That guy wasn't even within the screen, he still fucking sees me. This is exactly what I'm talking about with the stealth. It's fucked up with me. I don't know why, I don't know how, it just is. Like, somehow, they will always see me, even when I'm in the dark. No stealth, not stealth boy, no pit boy light on, nothing. They'll still fucking see me, no matter what, and it's really annoying. Like now, no enemies within line of sight. Oh, wait, never mind. There's one. Dick, don't you dare be throwing them through a harpoons at me. Oh, good job. This came down within range of me attacking you. Something of note, viewers? Rage Armor is a huge fan of melee weapons. Huge fan. Oh yeah. Generally I just try and clear out all the enemies that are in my way. So really, I'm at level 50. I don't need the fucking experience yet. Anymore. Take care of them, Dino. Come on, don't back off like a pussy. Fine, I'll kill him. Oh yeah, that... See, see I, I was sitting perfectly still, and it still went into caution. Got it. 
highly fucking suggest when going through dead money to pick up the uh, stim packs for the stim pack vending machine recipe from the hospital. Because Lord knows stim packs are going to be very fucking valuable in this level, or in this DLC. Alright, now that I've made it, and this is actually another thing that I'm going to be showing off in here, since I always turn on area. the, uh, make him stay. Rounds. So, get in here. Dino, blah blah blah. If it means reconnecting the speakers, yeah. Uh, let's see, ghost people. Holograms, there we go. Okay, I'll reactivate the holograms. Open El Doro. Most people think you gotta run through the cafe in order to turn on the other hologram. That, of course, is total bullshit. Just run along here, you'll find this plateau. And what you have to do in order to get all of this active is do a Rage Armor patented hook jump around. If, uh, for those who don't know, the Rage Armor patented hook jump is where you, of course, do a jump that hooks around a corner. I first invented this in the, uh, what is it? I first invented this in my playthrough of Devil May Cry, where using the air hike, I would get to different levels without having to go through the normal bullshit. Now then, Dino, didn't think much about you. Talk to. Him. Uh, both holograms are on. You can use speech, so I would suggest you do that if you have enough pumped into it. And now we can go turn on the gala event, so we will see y'all the very next Welcome viewers. We are in the uh, area that I was just talking about just a few seconds ago. The final area with Dean motherfucking Domino. I'll pick that just because, well, I like to. There we go. Fuck, fuck, nah. Now, right. Now, if I had done this right, once you pick up the Vera thing, and I like running over here. Aha! The in a bit of a predicament and that, here, viewers, if you follow exactly what I did, will keep Dean Domino. Tonight. Friendly to you. No, I trust. So yeah, if you just do, uh... if you just do what I did, then. You should be just fine. It's kind of hard to see on this capture card. I like deactivating that. Right. Got about this here. There we go. That. Snag that. Come on, baby. Aha! I like checking Dean's stuff. Wait, I'm backstage now. I can turn on my flashlight. Don't matter. Yeah, that's what I need to grab. Yeah, there we go. You are. Quickly open that. Finally. No more worries. There we go. 
keys, all that fun stuff, I can now get back to motherfucking stage. Just run black dog. Just gonna run past Mr. Flashy there. Excuse me, pardon me, just ignore me. And play! And now that that's taken care of, we can just head right back to stage and wait for the cue from Father Douchebag. Father Don motherfucking Cornella! <laughs> Let's play our drink of choice for the day. Dr. Pepper. Now, it helps the ghoul. This has gone on long enough. <laughs> Oh, those electric go There we go. Hey, buddy. You all right? I'm listening. Short version. Yeah, all right. Time to get the fuck out of here. I, viewers, will just be cutting my audio off here. And, uh, last thing y'all are going to see from this is... The, uh, ending cinematic. Cheers. You've heard words. stories of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. This story's different than the others. It's all in promise of beginnings. And the ending. Dog forgot himself, as did the voice that raged within him. After their passing, a new voice spoke within the mutant shell. It was difficult for the voice to remember the two it once was. There was the beast, dog, consumed by hunger. And the other, in reverse, the one consumed by control. Both were driven by need for the other. The courier brought them together somehow, joined the two into one. All that happened at the Sierra Madre was a faint memory to the new personality, like a flickering light in the clouds of the mind. The new voice did not think of the courier again until the battle at the Divide reached his ears. The battle between the two couriers, beneath the torn skies and the old world flag, each bearing a message for the other. And the mutant prayed the courier that had saved him had been saved in return. Dean Domino, entertainer, singer, thief, explored the Sierra Madre not long after he was rescued by the courier. Once he left the theater, the Sierra Madre recognized him as a guest, and many doors opened to him. He had to admit, it had been built to last. During his search, he came across the final records of Vera and Sinclair and realized what happened the night the bombs fell. He felt strangely sad for a moment and he had no idea why. Shrugging it off, his mind turned instead to where the courier had come from. Vegas still survived out there in the Mojave. It's sights, sounds, and casinos, ripe for the taking. So, giving the Sierra Madre one last nod and a wink, he set off beyond the cloud to begin again. Christine, her mission complete. Found new purpose as the Sierra Madre's warden. She watched over it silently, by choice. Over time, the ghost people came to see her as one of the holograms. They would watch silently as she walked among them. At times, Christine thought of the courier, who had kept Elijah's hand from her throat. The courier reminded her of the other courier she had met in the big empty, and wondered if the two had found each other at last. She did not think of them again until she heard the legends of the Divide. The Divide, where the two messengers, the two couriers, fought beneath an ancient flag at the edge of the world. 
You heard of the Sierra Madre Casino? We all have. The legend, the curses. Some foolishness about it lying in the middle of a city of dead. A city of ghosts. Beneath a blood-red cloud. A bright shining monument. Reaching out, luring treasure hunters to their doom. An illusion. A promise that you can change your fortunes. Begin again. Finding it, though. That's not the hard part. It's letting go. 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 It's letting go.